Hello my newborn family, welcome back to the ministry. How are you all doing? I hope you're doing great. Today's word is also going to be on marriage. Um, I've just been led by the Spirit for the past uh, few days to release the word on marriage and I pray that it will be helpful unto somebody. I even have one more I'm going to be uh, speaking on counterfeits and I'm going to be giving my experience about the, about the counterfeits that I experienced before um, I eventually was connected to the man that God wanted me to be with which was my husband um, and, and um, how he restored my uh, marriage which many of you know about my testimony already. So I've got a, uh, quite a few verses I'm going to read in the scripture from the book of Samuel, 1 Samuel. So please pay attention and I pray this word will be a blessing unto you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. This word is for only one category of persons and that is those of you that, that, that God has uh, promised the blessing and the gift of a godly marriage. And I, and I really hope that this, these videos on marriages are going to be... Uh, uh, very helpful unto those that need it in this time. Amen. Because I know that I needed quite a lot of guidance when I was in the haze of trying to figure out if, if he is the one or, or he wasn't the one. <laughs> so be blessed in Jesus' name. So let me just pray before we get started. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Uh, Father, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I just thank you, Lord, once again for the privilege to be able to release these words, oh Lord. I pray that even right now, Holy Spirit, your presence will come and saturate the atmosphere and that as I begin to speak, may the people, Lord, hear you speaking instead of just my voice. Lord, lead me, Lord, speak through me. Let your wisdom flow, let your grace flow let your spirit just overtake right now heavenly father this hour in the mighty name of jesus christ of nazareth and let this word be a word of um confirmation to many father in the name of jesus christ of nazareth and we just pray against every yoke of the enemy in people's lives right now and every doubt oh lord and every unbelief in the mighty name of jesus christ we plead the blood of the lamb of god to overcome all in jesus mighty name we pray amen hallelujah praise the lord amen family okay so as you can see okay so this this is going to be the sign okay this is the sign and this is what the lord needs you to know um when it comes to him pairing you with the man that he wants you to be with or other woman because the, the lord can tell you to do the same thing if you're a, a man um god can instruct you in this way as well okay so this is going to be a word of confirmation 100 percent for you hallelujah amen so um the scripture says let's go right into the scripture because i like to go right into god's word to help you understand where um this word the, the uh, reference is um inspired by amen first samuel 16 verse 3 and i'm going to skip a few verses and then go to 7 to 12 and i'm reading from the english standard version praise god and that says please listen attentively amen and 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 that says and invite Jesse to the sacrifice and I will show you what you shall do and you shall anoint me and you shall anoint for me him whom I declare to you now this particular verse is speaking um, about when the Lord um, was was really sending Samuel on an assignment to go to the house to the family of Jesse to pick out a king that would uh, succeed Saul okay is that the right word to use succeed uh saul okay because saul was the king at the time the king of israel but then he disobeyed the lord okay they know what the lord asked him to do okay he went and did something else and then the lord sought out for a king for israel by sending samuel to the house of jesse okay and i be and i believe um jesse was a was a uh a uh a, a bethlehem height i think okay but um let's just continue reading amen but the Lord said to Samuel, do not look on his appearance or on the height of his stature because I have rejected him. Now, let me just pause here for a little bit. Okay, this is not the main uh, naughty point or the focus of the word. But I want to just pause here because I mentioned in my last video that I'm going to be talking about this same particular verse when I was speaking about marriage as well. Saying that when the Lord sends the one to you, he may not look like who, um, you know, was sent by the Lord. Amen. Because God is going to reject whoever ideal man that you have in mind that, oh, you know, this person should be like this or, or look like this or sound like this or behave like this. Okay. Amen. Now let's continue family. For the Lord sees not as man sees, um, not, not, not as man sees. Man looks on the outward appearance, but the Lord looks on the heart. Then Jesse called Abinab Abinadab 
and made him pass before Samuel. And he said, neither has the Lord chosen this one. Then let's continue as well. It says, then Jesse made Shammah pass by. And he said, neither has the Lord chosen this one. And Jesse made seven of his sons pass before Samuel. And Samuel said to Jesse, the Lord has not chosen these. Then Samuel said to Jesse, are all of your sons here? Are all of your sons here? And he said, there remains yet the, the youngest, but behold, he is keeping the sheep. So Jesse made all of his sons come one by one, walk, walk in front of Samuel. And the spirit of the Lord, understand the spirit of the Lord was already in Samuel, walking, walking in Samuel as a prophet. So he had that um, he he had that spirit of discernment to know already that you know um, if the Lord is you know saying that yes it is this one yes it is um, this one or no it's not amen so as as God's spirit was with Samuel God's spirit was guiding Samuel amen and remember the Lord says um, he says that the one that I have chosen I declare that you will anoint for me now let's continue because we're getting to the point that the Lord needs you to understand as well and in the name of Jesus Christ I pray that every doubt and every disbelief on your mind before now is broken in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth amen praise the Lord so it says in the last verse and Samuel said to Jesse send and get him for we will not sit down till he comes here and he sent and brought him in now he was ruddy and beautiful and 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 had beautiful eyes and was handsome and the Lord said arise anoint him for this is he now the point I'm getting to now is also going to lead to, to a uh, place where I'm going to give a testimony about my own um, husband, my kingdom husband. So now we can see that we have a picture where, you know, Samuel, you know, begins to go on this journey to try to find um, the king for Israel. Amen. And the Lord says to, to Samuel that he's going to declare to him the one that he has chosen that Samuel will anoint, okay, um, the chosen one. And we see at the end that when David eventually makes an appearance, um, the Spirit of God confirmed that in Samuel's mind, in Samuel's spirit, and the Lord says, arise, anoint him. When God reveals the one to you, the confirmation, one of the biggest confirmations that you're going to have about whether this person is going to be the one or not, is simply that the Lord will give you an, um, the Lord will give you an instruction that you are to anoint this person. Um, the Lord will give you an instruction as a woman that you are to anoint your husband. Now, I'm I'm so glad to be able to release this word, specifically because the Holy Spirit led me into this scripture, into the into this book of Samuel. I think a little bit over a week ago, and I've just been dwelling on Samuel since the beginning chapter. And when I got to this point, like something hit me, even right now. Thank you, Holy Spirit. I love you, Holy Spirit. He's even bringing to my remembrance now when my husband was just anointing my stomach because I'm because I'm a few months pregnant. My husband was anointing my stomach like he does every night, and immediately that just struck me that hold on a minute, yes, um, God just brought to my remembrance that I made you anoint your husband because I chose him for you. Like, I made you anoint your husband because he was the one that I wanted for you, that I needed you to be with. And remember, God makes no mistake. Amen. So as he was anointing my belly, like that confirmation, that remembrance, everything just hit me all at once that, yes, you know, and then when i was reading this scripture as well and and i and i saw how the lord instructed samuel to go for to anoint david it clicked and i just knew instantly this word is going to help somebody this word will help you if god hasn't even told you about that person that you've been suspecting that he's the one or an ex that came back into your life and they seem to be like you know like like um they seem to be the one that god has brought back into your life but then you're not sure if god has not given you an instruction to anoint then maybe god hasn't you know said it's time for him to confirm to you or maybe he's not the one at all 
Amen. So whoever is the one for you, amen, ladies, women, kingdom wives, God is going to give you an instruction, a divine instruction, a holy instruction to anoint your kingdom husband, to anoint your kingdom spouse. Until then, make no moves. Don't do anything. Just continue to wait upon the Holy Spirit, fellowship with him and intercede for the future husband that you're trusting the Lord for, that your union as a couple will glorify the Heavenly Father. Amen. So this is just the confession, the, 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 um, the um, confirmation that I want you um, to have and to hold on to, that God will definitely tell you to anoint, to anoint your kingdom um, to anoint your kingdom husband. Amen. Praise God. I have to adjust myself because of the baby. <sighs> so you all, I want to also tell you that, you know, um, when the Lord was restoring my marriage as well, what did he do? The Lord gave me that, that, that same instruction that he gave to Samuel is so beautiful and so amazing that God will always want us to have clarity in everything that he's doing in our lives so that we're not the least confused. And the Lord told me, he told me, he gave me a vision. Okay. He gave me a vision or if I think I was anointing. Um, my husband, yeah, and then, and, and then I heard him speak to, you know, tell me to anoint my husband when we meet, that I should anoint my husband with the holy anointing oil, amen, and that struck me that day, to be honest, what's even more amazing is that I hadn't even read the book of Samuel then, I hadn't even gone into First Samuel or Second Samuel, and I did exactly what the Lord said, Immediately I landed and God, uh, you know, um, joined us back together. I anointed my husband even before we went and did our, 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 our wedding ceremony. And then I took the oil and I anointed my, my, my uh, husband. But don't just make empty declarations. Don't just say, I anoint you. And that's it. Open your mouth and boldly declare and speak what you want. Words of life over this man as, as he kneels down and you take that oil and you anoint him because he's the one that God has chosen for you. It's not going to go wrong. Amen. You need to trust in the Lord and not have doubt in who that um, he has picked for you. Believe what he has told you to do and carry out that assignment and he will bless your union and prosper you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. So be encouraged you all. Let me see if there's anything else I need to include in this word, Holy Spirit. I'm just going to give prayerfulness. That's all I hear right now. And just continue to be prayerful. Continue to be prayerful. Um, wives, especially, you are intercessors. You were born to be an intercessor. Continue to intercede for your husband. When the Lord really, you know, gives you an instruction, like anoint the man that I want you to be with when you meet him, Obey the Lord, but then keep on praying as well. Amen. Because you see, even though God joins you to your kingdom spouse, the enemy will always try to come in to find a way to like bring division and separation and more and more confusion. I tell you, and more and more doubt, even, you know, though you have that biggest confirmation there with you. So be very, very prayerful and always have, ask the Holy Spirit um, to give you discernment, to just make you wiser, to um, know how to um, manage your marriage, to know, to, to know how to do the things that God wants you to do um, as a wife. Amen. The Holy Spirit is your best friend. I tell you, you like you, you need to become best friends with the Holy Spirit even way before you go into your marriage. Amen. It makes everything just um, have a flow because you know, um, you know what your role is and you know who your helper is so that you can become even a better and greater helper onto the person that needs help and that is your kingdom spouse. Amen. Praise the Lord. So I pray this word has been a blessing unto you. Um, be encouraged and don't give up. Okay. And if God has not revealed the one for you, just keep keep on um, walking with the Lord and at the appointed time, he will reveal this person unto you that your union will glorify him in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I want, so I want to pray for you all. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I pray this word, the Lord has blessed the wives excuse me, that need to hear this word. And I just pray, Heavenly Father, for the spirit of grace, for the spirit of um, revelation, knowledge, and understanding, and the spirit of discernment to be upon every single one of you right now that needs it in this hour. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, I impart unto you the spirit of wisdom, the spirit of faith, and the spirit of grace to keep on moving with the Lord and to wait patiently upon him and to keep serving him. And um, the spirit of wisdom specifically, once again, to help you to know how 
how to be wise in your marriage in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. May God bless and prosper every single one of you. Be encouraged and keep waiting upon the Lord. He will renew your strength. Don't give up and don't quit. Hallelujah. Praise God. So I'll see you all in the next one. Be blessed. Every link you need for the scriptures and for the books of the ministry and the links for giving and everything else are all going to be in the bar below for you all. And I also want to say very quickly, oh, thank you, Holy Spirit. When I was coming to record this word, like, I heard the voice say, take your book, Kingdom Marriage Keys. I had no idea why, uh, because I had no plans to make any reference to um, anything in here. But here we are. The book is here with me because it was in my uh, work table before. So here it is. Kingdom Marriage Keys is here. Uh, and I want to encourage you all to get a copy. If you're believing the Lord for um, a godly marriage, it's nice for you to have it. It's very short. It's about, I don't know, maybe about 50 pages. And it's, it's, it's really, really packed, you all. And I want you to get a copy. It's all on Amazon and it's very, very affordable. Have a read and equip yourself and uh, get more knowledge about um, how a godly marriage works and what the Lord wants to do in your life. Read your godly spouse. Amen. So God bless you all and I'll see you all in the next one. Lots of love, family. Take care.